guys, Nick here with GearNut, and I am super stoked and excited about this video and this knife. I mean, good God, I've been waiting a long time to try to get my hands on one of these, and lo and behold, I got an early Christmas present from my wife. My wife bought me a Benchmade for Christmas. <laughs> How awesome is that? So, uh, what do we got? We got, uh, it's December 20th, 2017. That's going to be a reference because, you know, I've got quite a few videos, and they're hard to keep straight sometimes. So, anyhow, super epic, awesome gift. Now, if you guys don't know about my struggle with Benchmade, I've been wanting to get one of these for over a year. It just didn't happen. Um, the first person that exposed me to Benchmade was Nathan4071. If you guys don't know about this gentleman, he's a YouTuber. I'll have a link to his YouTube channel in the description box below. Go check him out. He's got some really epic knives. Uh, he sent down his Benchmade Bushcrafter 162 with tan, or no, actually teal scales to get a uh, Kydex sheath built for it. And thanks a lot, Nathan, because th that one job I did for you hooked me on a Benchmade for life. So thanks a lot, Nathan. So there's two knives that I'm interested in in the Benchmade line as of right now. And the first one is the Benchmade Bushcrafter 162. Uh, I, as soon as I held that knife, I knew I had to get one. It was just out of my price range. And the second one is the Benchmade 940 Osborne. You know, those two knives, I had been struggling, trying to figure out which one I wanted to get, and I just didn't get around to buying one. You know, I know that I wanted one, and I actually want both of them, but I, I just couldn't seem to, to pull the trigger and make the purchase. Things kept coming up, the car kept breaking. All sorts of fun you know life happens so big shout out and thank you to Nathan for exposing me Nathan 4071 for exposing me to the Benchmade world and my wife Kayla for buying my first Benchmade so what's better than that my first Benchmade that I ever got is gonna be from my wife for an early Christmas present in 2017 and it's one that I wanted so I'm not going to review the knife. I'll show you it because, you know, honestly, I've only been holding this for a day, less than a day. I think it's like 12 hours. So, but anyhow, this is the Benchmade 940-2. There's probably hundreds of videos about this knife out there if you guys want some reviews. You don't see a lot of folding knife reviews on my channel. That's because I'm extremely picky with them. So, the, the G10 on here, I will tell you, I am extremely happy with it. It is smooth, it's dense, it's solid, it's not bendy, it's not flexible. It's, it's high quality G10. That was one concern I had, but I don't have any concerns with it now. The other concern I had was, is it going to have good blade centering? And guess what? This Benchmade has great blade centering. So... You know, I'm not sure if that's just this one and I just lucked out. Comment section below if you have had issues with Benchmade's blade centering. Let me know. You know, I'm really new to this world, so I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. But I must say, the deployment of the 940, it was stiff out of the box. You know, the first 15, 20 deployments, it was stiff. But then it broke in really quick. You know, I can open it and shut it extremely easily. And the access lock, I absolutely love it. I'm still getting used to it, so bear with me, guys. We're gonna we're gonna adjust to this learning curve. And I know my little brother is probably watching this video. And guess what, little bro? I can deploy the Benchmade 940, no problem. So the joke behind that is he has an Ontario Rat One, I believe, or Ontario Model One. And I cannot deploy that knife to save my life. If somebody <laughs> said, Gear Nut, you have to deploy this knife with your thumb and flick it out, and they handed me that Model 1, I might as well just start running because there's no way it's going to happen. So, little bro, guess what? I can deploy the 940. That's embarrassing for me to say, but it's true. And I bet you he's going to be laughing his butt off when he sees that. And I stuck it on the internet in a video. So, anyhow... I absolutely love this knife. The nine, the 940 is just, it's just beautiful. I love the blade shape. I love the style of it. I love the length. I love how there's no recurve right here. I absolutely hate sharpening a recurve. I mean, good golly, Miss Molly, that is one of the things I absolutely hate to do is sharpen a recurved pocket knife blade. So, uh, the blade steel. My wife actually got me hooked on S30V. So. 
Thanks a lot, Kayla, for getting your husband hooked on expensive steels. <laughs> so she didn't realize that when she bought me the Leatherman Charge TTI for another gift, my wife's freaking awesome. Yep, I'm glad I married her. So, but when she bought me the Leatherman Charge TTI, it had an S30V blade steel. And I thought, no big deal, you know, it's just, you know, it's just a gimmick. And I didn't think anything of it until I started using it. And then I realized this thing is not getting dull. <laughs> and I used it for a long time before I even had to touch it up. So that's what got me hooked on S30V. Now, if there are better blade steels than S30V, let me know. You know, I'm, I'm new to the blade steel world. I'm no expert, but I do realize that I love S30V. So if there is a better option or a better steel, comment section below, hit me up, let me know what that is because I'm, I'm interested in learning. So I am hooked on knives and that is because of two people, <laughs> my wife and Nathan, four, Nathan 4071. I'm so excited. I can't even talk. So anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know, let me know in the comment section below. And also let my wife know that she picked out an epic, epic gift. How many of you guys and girls would love to get one of these for Christmas? I mean, that is awesome. So hit her up, let her know, because she does watch my videos and she does read some of the comments. So if you guys want to let her know that she did an awesome job picking out this 940, hit it up. She'll read it. So super awesome gift. Absolutely love it. Uh, also, tell my wife happy birthday. Her birthday is actually Christmas Day. So I'm going to have to do something extra special for her on Christmas because that is also her birthday, which makes it difficult sometimes. So but that's what I got. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and definitely Description box below, check out Nathan4071. I'll have a link to his YouTube channel. He's an awesome guy and a great friend of mine. So that's what I got. I'll check you guys later.